Oh no, uh, this is something serious that um, I want you to learn from. All people involved in livestock farming, uh, something serious here that is going on that I want you to learn from. Now this is a goat farm located here in uh, Burwani along Masaka Road. Now I found this farm being disturbed. It was about three, two years of, of, of existence, but uh, was facing problems with uh, sicknesses, animals falling sick today. They are treated tomorrow and the next day they fall sick again. Uh, plus there's so many uh, quack veterinary service providers. So the, the, the proprietors were being disturbed and they were thinking of giving up on the project. So when I came here, we identified the problems that the project is facing. It is a small project, it is just growing. We identified the problems that were facing this project. Most of them were diseases related to tick-borne disease. Tick-borne, uh, I mean, most of them were related to ticks and uh, internal parasites. So I told them uh, these are managemental problems that can be solved. First of all, we went ahead and dewormed them effectively. Effectively meaning we identified the parasites in the project and uh, we dewormed effectively against them. We also went ahead and uh, diagnosed the problems, the diseases, and uh, we identified that the animals had so many tick-borne diseases. So we also treated them. So we went on to the control mechanisms of, 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 of such. So we identified that there were gaps in spraying. They were not spraying effectively. It was becoming a problem. Uh, the farmer uh, using his farm staff to, to spray the goats effectively. You find that they don't spread them very well and uh, so happens that many of them leave the place not well uh, sprayed so we devised means and we said we should we should we should uh, devise a way of, of controlling these parasites effectively and then we decided about building a small dip for the goats so now this is what you're seeing here this is uh, where they move from let me show it perfectly so we just built that. So this is the entrance to their house. So uh, they come out of here. They just take this route. They take this route up to the deep. This is a resting yard. So they come up to the deep they walk into the deep mm. they get out of the deep from there and they mm. go to the grazing what fields so you can kali, see kali, kali. we are controlling uh, there's one mechanism of controlling diseases and it is going to be effective so effective in controlling the what the tick-borne diseases and other parasites that affect this animal. So an animal just comes in here, walks in. We are going to put an acaricide here. So it walks in perfectly. It gets dipped here. After getting dipped, it walks out of the of the house well dipped. As you can see. So we are not going to worry about spraying again other than the warming. Ah, so many of you that are out there still thinking of tick control methods and such and such, that is something very simple for you. Uh, something very simple that you can adapt and control uh, ticks and other external parasites. You can see the structure. This is not a big structure. 
it didn't cost a lot of money that is not something so big it didn't cost a lot of money so avoid these things of smanya buying spray pumps that uh, get problems every day you need to repair every day they don't and at the end of it all you've not sprayed effectively the animals have not been dipped effectively i want them to see the animals and uh, know what we are talking about so these animals were uh, they were dying every day one is born today one 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 dies tomorrow so the numbers were very constant. Kato ina mwe mbuzi meka? So we are growing it slowly. These are the animals so far. Those are the kids. Healthy as you can see. So we are still growing them. nyumba na tujia kweta kwa kujigula kwa uruda mm. Mm. uruda uruda kugulu wao chila manti ya batoi ina mubanji ya bawe lai mm. mm. so tuwa gara wakule kwe batu mm. na alabi kabulu njoo mbaba mm? chila alabi kabulu njoo mm. mwana wani mwana wani mwana wani mwana wani Eri ina mtoto wa white. Ine cha black eri. Eri. Namba 3. Yazalo mwe. Mm, yali za debit. Eh. Mbwa yabo neri yako kama. Ah, mbwa yo tujja jijjao. Mm. Wena baita nemba gamba. Mm. Bangamba lwachi te waji kubye nojitta. Mm. Eh. Lwachi te waji kubye nojitta. Mm. 